Despite the internal crisis in the Social Democratic Party, its presidential candidate Jerry Gunner has continued to stay visible through press conferences and planned campaigns. Speaking with Roots TV Nigeria, Jerry Gunner reacted to the corruption charges against the Chief Justice of Nigeria while announcing his plans for the upcoming elections. You just gave us your press statement on what is going on concerning the CCTV, uh, rather the CCT uh, hearing of the CJN on corruption, uh, tri uh, corruption charges. We want to ask about the timing of this. A lot of people have said just a few weeks to the elections, it feels very suspect. Do you believe that as well? Honestly, that uh, public perception is very, very worrying, and that is why we also came out with this press conference, that it is not healthy for the nation, it's not good for democracy, it's not good for integrity, it's not good for safety and security in the land. For this kind of thing, people are getting worried. Th suddenly, something like that to emerge. People now have all sorts of theories. This is why we came out with this statement appealing to the government of the Federation that this is not a good process to follow because the constitution section i think article 292 you know uh, brings out very very clearly how the cgn if it is necessary becomes necessary should be removed there is a very very clear constitutional order so if there was anything like that they should not follow it but suddenly for this to emerge a few weeks to election uh, these are the people who will sit over any possible uh, uh, matters litigations then people get worried. And it's very, very serious. Because it, it, it gives an impression maybe some people are not comfortable with him, and then we want him out of the way and put somebody who will do their bidding. You know, Nigerians are very, very worried. And that's why we say, now look, don't do it. The Federal Republic of Nigeria is too serious. Governance is too noble for us to uh, you know, uh, you know, introduce this. What will stop our students from these cultic processes of just dealing with your, those who you think are against you? It's not right. It's not proper. I see, sir. The CUPP is threatening to take INEC to court concerning the guidelines they just released. Do you also have problems with those Any INEC guidelines? We have problems uh, with the guidelines, and our, my, my people are studying this very clearly. Honestly, we'll go anywhere because free and fair elections are extremely important. So we are studying it, and uh, if we find either we will support the PDP or we will we'll go to whatever length, because we believe in free, fair, and credible elections. Sir, a lot of people have also been uh, criticizing the appointment of Amina Zakari as the head of collation. You haven't made a We've statement. We've that, that is not correct. Is it? Is it correct? In fact, honestly, in a serious society like ours, she shouldn't even be in INEC at all. Any relation of any of us who are in this contest. Eh, should voluntarily actually even get out of INEC. That is what it should be. But just volunteer. No, oh, no, no. If that is the case, I cannot be a judge in my own case. My, a relation of mine or a friend of mine is so close. You understand? Once it becomes public knowledge like that, and then to say, not only are you in INEC, but being given a sensitive position as chairman of the coalition center, if that is true, no, nobody should do that. Finally, sir, you know, um, at the moment, um, Donald Duke is wanting to come back well, as this, a representative. This, this I know, but that notwithstanding, do you think it, it affects the visibility of SDP no, and how no, well no, it no, would it doesn't. We are, we are moving on vibrantly. You know, you should have been at our event last on I the would. 5th. You I are would. there. Oh, it's vibrant. And now soon we are going to Operation Grassroots. Eh? Grassroots. For, for the next three, four weeks, we are going to be on the road. We go to every part of the Federal Republic of Nigeria with intensive publicity, intensive mobilization. The youth and the women and the youth and the elders and so on, the whole place is already vibrating. <laughs> My goodness. Would you be open to a debate with all the other contestants if you were invited? Oh, yes, but they're afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> All right, that was Professor Jenny Garda, uh, the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, talking to Roots TV Nigeria. We talked on a range of conversations from, you know, what he talked about in his press conference, which is uh, the CCT trial of uh, the CJ and Walter Nogan on uh, corruption charges. And then he talked about Amina Zakari. And then uh, about the possibility of him engaging in um, a debate, which he says they're afraid of him. You stay here on Roots TV Nigeria as we bring you more. I'm Gloria Oji Emode.